Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Ann. Today I have a Celebrate card and it's got some several different elements of sparkle and shine and on the inside it's got an embossed partial heart. So if you want to learn how to make this, stick with me. Today I'll be working with the large swirly heart embossing folder. These turquoise sugared mini blossoms by Petaloo and they've just got a sprinkling of little what looks like little sugar crystals on them so they're nice and sparkly. And, last but not least, this big pack of the textured, or iridescent textured sheets. And it comes with 10 lovely iridescent colors. Very shiny, as you can see here. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I've got my e-bosser here, and my sandwich of platforms. Um, and you will probably have your own sandwich according to whatever embossing machine you might have. So this is just a piece of good um, quality white cardstock, and I just cut it to fit the folder. There's a little extra that that can be trimmed off later. Okay, so just stick it in here, put it under platform A, and feed it into my machine. And here is the fabulous swirly embossed heart. It's nice and crisp and everything. Alright, so here is my heart. And I've got my Versamark ink pad and a Versamark re-inker. So, to use the re-inker, all you need to do is take the ink pad and make some drops on it. And this is quite a thick viscous ink so it's gonna be a little bit slow to drop. So once you've got those drops on there kind of in an even pattern just take the tip of this and go ahead and work in those um, little puddles of ink so that it'll have an even coating. And you just don't want any of the ink to be clearly bubbling up on the surface. Everything needs to be kind of into the pad. So that's looking pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to take this rubber brayer. And I'm going to ink up the rubber brayer with the Versamark ink. Just by rolling it. And I want to make an even coating of the brayer. It's looking nice and shiny. That's what I want. So then I'm going to take it onto my heart piece. I'm just going to brayer over the heart. Re-ink it a little bit, even out the ink coating, and brayer one more time. This particular um, mica powder is called Glacier Light Lake, so it's a light greenish color. I'm just going to gently pat my brush on here, tap off some excess, and paint a picture. Get a little more on there.
This is kind of like using Perfect Pearls if you're per uh, familiar with that. It sticks to the design. Okay, now I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to move on to another color called Nouveau, which is kind of a copper color. I don't know if you can see, I have it in a different container just because I borrowed a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest with this color. Okay, now once the brushing is done, you can take a clean brush, or wash this brush and dry it really thoroughly, um, and brush off any of the excess particles. Okay, so now to just give this heart um, a little more sparkle, I'm going to go ahead and spray the whole thing with some of my um, glitter spray and I'll be right back. Alright, I don't know if you can tell but there's a slight shimmer along the whole card and that's from this stuff. It's Glitter Dust Silver Spray and it does have quite strong fumes so I recommend doing it outside on top of a bunch of newspaper, letting it dry before you bring it back inside. Alright, so now I've trimmed it to be even on both sides. I have a blank card and I have some iridescent papers to use so I'm going to go ahead and use them with the card. I'll be right back. Alright, so here I have added some of the iridescent paper and there's two ways you can do this. There's the quicker way which uh, wastes a little bit of paper and there's the more time consuming way which actually saves some paper. Uh, so let me explain. This white square I glued on to this um, white card and then I just cut thin strips of the blue iridescent and glued them around this and then cut um, thin strips of the orange iridescent and glued them around the, the blue so it creates a border and it looks like a mat even though it's not a mat. I hope that makes sense. And then the quicker way would just be to mat the white piece on the blue and then again uh, cover the card with the orange and then glue the matted blue piece in the center. Um, but then you lose the iridescent paper that would be hiding behind this white heart piece. So it's up to you to decide which method you like to choose. Um, I decided to go with the colors of the orange and the turquoise because those are a little bit trendy right now and this um, this could go for a wedding card or an anniversary card or just a friendship or love card. So, um, and then of course the sugared mini blossoms are glued right here in the corner, kind of setting off those swirls of turquoise and you can see the sugar <laughs> on the blossoms um, goes quite well with the different shimmers. We got the shimmer of the mica powder which is really subtle um, then the shimmer of the glitter dust uh, spray and then the, the nice bold shimmer uh, sparkle of the iridescent paper. Alright, so my finishing touches are this little bow here with the greeting celebrate and then I went ahead and glued those sugared um, blossoms in the bottom right corner. Opening it up, can't see anything really, but <laughs> I have a um, an embossed heart and I glued it to the right side and just cut off the excess so it's kind of a reflection of what's on the front but there's also room over here to write a personalized greeting. Um, the ribbon is from the Nature's Walk? No, Trailblazer. Trailblazer ribbon set and the greeting celebrate is from this stamp set just a little greeting. It's right down here and then the shape is from the Tiny Tags and Labels cutting die set 
and I used tacky glue to glue down the flowers. This is up on foam tape. Um, black stays on ink pad for the greeting. And that's about it. On the inside I just embossed a heart from white cardstock and then cut it out and glued it on the inside and cut off the excess. And that's my card. So first we have the large swirly heart embossing folder. Then we have the sugared mini blossoms in turquoise, and these are by Petaloo. It looks like there's about a dozen of them in there. They're very pretty and sparkly. And finally, 10 full sheets of the textured iridescent sheets. And these are all different colors, and you can use them in small amounts, large amounts. Um, <laughs> it's going to go a really long way in all of your craft projects.